so this is how you use the Fuki Lab uh, scintillation counter. In this little tray here that's at the bottom of the counter, there's all the little program tabs. For P32 and S35, you need programs 14 and 10, respectively. And so they're here, they should be in order. And what you do is you make room on the right-hand side of the instrument by pushing the racks backwards. There's often a lot of stuff in here, so you've got to keep them in the same order. You can come over here and like look in the machine. Yeah, so those are ours. You know. Okay, so the way to get these in the machine is to start with number 1 on the left-hand side and 18 on the right-hand side, and that should match the numbers on the bottom. Put them in at a diagonal and then straighten them out, and then push them all the way to the back. Um, before you do that, though, you should install the program tab. So you take the program tab, and you find the left hand side holder, stick it in with the number facing forward, make sure that goes in, you should be able to see the number sticking up, push that back, take the stop program, put that behind it, also push that to the back, all the other stuff, okay, and then you can close the lid. Um, the printer down here runs out of ink all the time because the ribbons are bad, so you should make sure that the print is actually visible by pressing print, uh, just to see... Um, I printed a lot of the boards on this. <laughs> So if you look at the printout, these black squares should be nice and dark. And if they are, then you can go ahead and actually start your counting. So up here, you should use the cursor buttons to get it to automatic counting. Right? Okay. And then on the machine itself, all you have to do is press start. Listen to make sure that it's moving the rack in the right place. It should display the name of the program as well as the isotope that it's counting for. Stick around at least as long as it takes to start counting the first one and then you're done.